Well, Jake, very, very good. Good evening, everybody. Um, I feel like I've been introduced a few times, and uh, I might have got the wrong impression to a few of you. Um, but for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm Jack, and I'm uh, I'm Dan's best man. <laughs> Thanks very much. The fan club over there. Cheers. Um, for those of you who do know me, which is, I think, this area over here, um, <laughs> I'm not the biggest public speaker. Now, you might ask, why did Dan ask, uh, ask the guy who can't speak in public to be his, uh, his best man? So actually, rather than uh, give you a speech, I'm going to sing you a song. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever heard an accountant sing a song before. But, uh, <laughs> Thank you all for coming to the hashtag Thicky Bed Wedding today. The weather has been wonderful. I hope that you all enjoyed the buffet. Jake and Phipps, Bordeaux and Rich, as groomsmen, you have been so dutiful. Now everybody take a look at the bridesmaids, they all look so beautiful. <laughs> Lucky for me, one of them's mine. And it's all thanks to the bride. I digress. We've not got time, because I'm here for Dan. I'm his best man. <laughs> First one at uni of Birmingham With his hipster glasses and chinos on This Harry Potter look-alike called Dan <laughs> The next three years they just flew by With many stories that I cannot tell But it's mainly for the fear of Incriminating myself as well what I will divulge is this The morning after a night on the piss Dan prepared himself breakfast And this is disgusting He lined up six shots in a row Three raw eggs and three vodkas to go Of course he was sick But I didn't know do it in my pan <laughs> and leave it in the kitchen for three weeks. Thanks for that. <laughs> and then Emily walks in and Dan's new life begins. It was clear to see that she was out of his league. <laughs> they say that love is blind, and Dan was lucky to find Emily. She's one of a kind, and Dan's like, Emily, won't you sit next to me? We'll come back to my place, we'll get to first base. Oh boy, did he dream. <laughs> and over the next few weeks, in spring 2014, Emily made a next out of his Xbox 360. Yes, she did. 
No more screaming at Real Madrid. The FIFA rage quits. Ladies and gents, there's something that I'd like you all to know. Dan's first proposal was actually five years ago. <laughs> when he asked M to be his girlfriend, his sweetheart, never to be apart. <laughs> and oh, M pulled out her list <laughs> of her boyfriend's requirements. <laughs> And sadly, these are not known to me. But clearly, you've met them, Danny B. You've met them, Danny HB. Maybe if you ask Emily later, she might give you a few of the things on the list. Okay. And next they made the leap to live together in harmony. But somebody else lived with them. And guess what? That guy who was me, who said that three's a crowd. Until the evening noises got too loud. So, I moved out. It didn't take long before they replaced me with some rap babies. Marcus, Cosmo and Xavier made Dan into a rodent daddy, it's true. They've got more Insta followers than you. 1,272. Dan, I'd like to say thanks for asking me. Best man, what an honor it has been. And I hope this song has made you smile and reminisce. And I know that there is loads of stuff that I've missed. I'm so pleased for you and Emily. I know that you'll make each other so happy. And now we've reached the part where I ask you to raise your glass and toast the newlyweds with me. Can I have a drink? As well? <laughs> <laughs> to Dan and Emily. Congratulations. <laughs> I've only got one song, so I can't do an encore, sorry. <laughs>